this video, I'll be showing you how you can set up Locky as well as Promptail so you can aggregate all of your logs from your Linux host into Grafana so then you can build nice dashboards and set up alerting and stuff like that. So we will be doing this all via Docker Compose and I have all of these steps that I'm covering in this video documented on my website. A link will be in the description so make sure to follow along there as well for all of the commands. So before we jump into the actual deployment, I'll just walk you through the current setup I have and what you can expect. Right, so I just have a really quick drawing here which is going to take you through the setup that I currently have. So at the moment I have my server one which is my Electron Cloud and what's running on this is Grafana right, as well as Locky and Promptail. If you've watched my previous video where I took you through deploying Grafana as well as Prometheus to build your metrics dashboards, then you should already have Grafana installed and you should already kind of understand this. But it's a similar setup. So in that previous video, what we had was Grafana deployed as well as Prometheus, right, which in this case we can say Locky is kind of like Prometheus in that sense, and then we have Promptail, which in this case is kind of like Node Exporter in that video. So What's happening here is we're installing Promptail onto our server and Promptail is grabbing our logs from the directory var forward slash logs. I'll just put this down here. So like var logs, right? Or var log or whatever it's called. And then those are then all just being grabbed from this host and then sent to Locky, right? And that's the same with um, Promptail running on server one as well. All of those logs have been sent to Locky and then Locky is then linked to Grafana as a data source and then you can build the nice dashboards like you were doing with the previous video. Now again if you don't have Grafana installed at this point and you're wanting to go through this make sure to watch that video first that will get you into a good point where then you can just follow along and set up Locky and Promptail. So I currently have Locky and Promptail all set up right we've got the logs coming in and the cool thing that you can do is you can build dashboards like this. And this one here is just looking at specific logs that are coming through. And it's just for the SSH connections, right? So I can see and I can build a nice dashboard just to see SSH, right? And what's happening there. So I've just disconnected from that host. So I'm just going to connect again. I'm going to show you that this will change. So I'm connecting again. And now I've just made a new log. That log has gone from Promptail to Locky to Grafana. And then if I give it a bit of a refresh, we can now see a new SSH connection has happened. So you now have like a nice dashboard where you can just see all the SSH connections that are happening to your server. And you can see them here, right? You can see the connections that I'm doing. And you could have this on like an auto. So this is just auto refreshing and you could have this somewhere nice and where you can just see the live update, right? But this is just a small portion of the logs, but this is kind of just showing you what you can do. Just by collecting the SSH logs as part of this mass log collection, we can build and get and visualize this data. But if I come back here and if we go to explore, we can now look at all of these logs, right? So you can build your custom dashboards however you like. So if we go select label, and I don't know, let's just go job, and then everything in the var logs, and we'll run that query. So these are all of the logs from my host that are currently sending logs via Promptail to Locky, right? And now I can, I can look at all of these and I can build metrics as I like. And if you want to be more specific, you can go, right, there's a certain log that I want, right? So if I come in here, okay, I want, scroll down, ah, pie hole. I want to see the logs of pie hole, right? Here we go. I can see all the logs of pie hole and you can now visualize this data how you'd like. I think I can talk about how you can visualize and manipulate data forever, but the main thing is you were sending all the logs to Grafana so we can then make visualizations and alerting and whatever you'd like to do. Build your custom dashboards and there's even dashboards on the Grafana community where you can just use the existing ones. Right, so I've just connected to my main server here where we're going to be to deploying Locky as well as Promptail, right? So we're going to be deploying Locky where it's going to store all the logs, but I'm also deploying Promptail on this because I want to grab the logs from this server as well. So what we'll do is we'll make a directory and we'll call this Locky and we'll change directory into there, so into Locky. And if we do an ls, we have nothing in here, right? Nice and empty. Now coming to my documentation, again, a link for this is in the description. We've got a Docker Compose file here. So we can just grab this and I'll cover what's happening uh, in a sec. So now we can just do a nano docker-compose.yaml and hit enter. And we can paste this in and I'll go through it. So. We're deploying two services. We're deploying Locky. And again, we only need to deploy this once because this is where all the logs are going to go. And you can see this comments here explaining what's happening on each line. So, you know, we're just finding the version of Locky we want, the name of the container. Um, Locky will be expecting to use a YAML file for its config, which we will be grabbing in a second. 
and you can see where we're mounting it within the locky container. This will be running on port 3100. And you can see that the container is going to run a command where it's going to say, hey, look, the config file is located in this directory. And that is true because that's the directory inside of the container on this line. So that's fine. And then we're also deploying prompt tail so we can grab the logs. And you can see here that this will also require a config file, which we will grab in a second. And you can see here that we will be mounting the var log directory from our host into the container so we can grab the logs from the host and feed it through, right? And we're saying that this depends on Locky. Just for this one, it does. But when we're deploying uh, prompt tail on our other services, it won't depend on Locky because Locky will already be running. And then you can see here that the command file, again, it's, it's relying on that config file, just as the Locky service was doing. So we can save this. And if we do an ls, we now see we have a docker compose file. Don't run this yet. We've got a couple of things we need to grab. Coming down, we can see that we need to grab those config files. So these are just coming straight from the official Grafana um, GitHub, right? So I'm just grabbing them from there. And a link to the official documentation will also be in the description if you want to have a look at that as well. So I'm going to grab these. So I can just click the copy here. Back to the server, paste, and hit enter. And we're going to grab those config files. If I do an ls, we can see we now have Locky config and prom uh, Promtail config. So you can see here, this is just a configuration for Locky, and we don't actually need to change any of this if you don't want to, right? We can leave it all as how it is. So we can close down to that, and we can look at the prompt tail as well. And you can see here, what's going to happen here is that it's prompt tail is expecting to find Locky on this one here. And what we should do is we'll just set this here as the IP address of the server running Locky, right? So my one is just this dot six eight dot one one three i hope that makes sense so what we're saying is hey Promtel, where are you going to connect to locky you'll find locky here right and that's all we're telling uh the Promtel config to do now we're setting up a job here which is just called job name system and we're just going to be using the local host and we are setting up a label for this job called var log so that's what will be listed under when we're searching for it in grafana this will all make sense in a second when we actually uh, go to set this up and now looking at the compose, just one double check, we can just confirm that this locky-config.yaml matches what we have locally. Locky config yaml, that looks good. And prom tail config.yaml, that looks good. So you want to make sure that these are the same because it's going to be looking for those files, right? So now what we can do is we can just deploy it. So docker compose up hyphen D and we'll hit enter. Mine deployed straight away like that because I already have the images pulled. Yours might take a little longer, but once it's done, we should be able to hit it. And to confirm that we can hit it is using the IP address of the server on port 3100, and there's two paths we can use. Now, at the top here, you can see I've gone to the IP address of the server running Locky. I've gone to port 3100, and I've just gone to forward slash ready. And we can just wait here, and this will tell us when everything is up and running. But while we're waiting for that, we can actually change that to metrics. And we can just make sure that we've got data coming through. And you can see we've got logs coming through now, which is great. So we can just wait for that ready to come up and say ready, which it does now. It says ready. So that means we can now connect this to Grafana. So coming to our Grafana now, what we can do is we can come here, go add a new connection. We can search for Locky right there, hit Locky. And we can on the, on the right hand side here, go add new data source. And now it's asking for the IP address. This is fine. We're just going to put in the IP address of that server, right? 192.168.68.113. And it was 3100. That's where Locky's running. Now, my setup doesn't need any authentication or anything like this. It's all just local. So we can just don't worry about this and hit save and test. And there we can see that Grafana can talk to Locky just fine. So now we can go back to that explore, uh, explore view. And now we should see some sort of information in here, some logs. So if we go to job, we can see var logs. Remember, we that was the name of the job in that config file for Promtail. We said, hey, look, this log is going to, this job is going to be called var logs. Now, if we run that query, there we go. We've just grabbed all of the logs from our host that's running this. And I also actually have Promtail running on another server as well, which is, will automatically be sending information in. But I'm going to show you how now you can add an additional host, right? It's really easy just to get all those log information coming through into your Locky database. But it's all real time and at the time that you set this up, it's not going to backtrack the, your previous logs. So 
you want to set this up as soon as possible in a new deployment so you get all as much information and capture all of those logs. So I'm going to set up my sandbox server now. I'm going to get that connected here. So coming back to my documentation, you can see that to add an additional host, we just need this compose here. So this is pretty much a cut down version of the first one we did. So we're going to copy this and jump to our new server. So what we're going to do, I'm now on my server. I'm going to change directory into Docker. There we go. I'm going to make a directory and we'll call this Promtail. We'll change directory into Promtail. Do an ls, there's nothing in there. We'll clear the screen. And now we'll make that Docker compose. And we can paste it in. Awesome. So we shouldn't have to make any changes at all, but we do need to bring that config file down. So let's save this, go back to our documentation, and we need this bottom line, right? That's just the uh, Promtail config. Paste that in, hit enter, do an ls. We now have our compose and our Promtail config. And the config, again, is just set up to pull the var log directory, nothing else. You can set this up to pull whatever logs you like, right? But I'm just showing you the, the basics. You can have this set up to Docker, pulling specific Docker logs, all of that cool stuff. But at the moment, we're just focusing on var log. So I do need to edit that Promtail config because we need to tell it, you know, where the Locky server is. So I do that, 168.68.113. Save that. Great, and now we can spin this bad boy up. So Docker compose up, I can D and hit enter. It's going to pull that prompt out image. There we go, it's all up and running, and we can just do a Docker compose logs just to make sure that it's happy. Great. Now if your config, uh, if there's any issues with your config, you won't get all these logs, it will say something about it couldn't find the config file or there was an issue with it, but this looks healthy. So let's clear that, and now let's go back to Grafana. But just quickly, before we go back to Grafana, I just want to point out, we don't need to do anything on the Locky side for this new information. What's happening here is that Promtail works off a, a push, right? So Promtail pushes the logs to Locky. Locky isn't scraping like what Prometheus does with Node Exporter. Uh, this one is different. So Prom, you, you just tell Promtail where to push the lo logs to. There's no authentication with Locky uh, that I have set up. So Locky will just grab these logs, right? So that's why it makes it so easy. Deploy Promtail, tell it where to send the logs, done. So coming back here, let's see if we have any sandbox uh, logs now. Run query. There we go. Look at that. Electron sandbox. We now have uh, Electron sandbox logs coming through as well. And one last thing, uh, just as a pure example, let's say you're wanting to build a custom dashboard for your SSH connections, like that dashboard I was showing you, but you'd rather do it yourself. You could come down the file name, and then we know that the SSH is under auth log, right? And then we could put in here SSH d i believe it is not sushi i love that autocorrect though uh there we go and we can run that query and now we can get all the sshd connections and then you can build dashboards off of this information right but that's it for this video i've shown you how you can set up locky promptail and set up an additional host with promptail as well as well as looking at building dashboards and just how you can look at the data that you have coming through just a big thank you for everyone for all the support. It's been awesome. Again, jump to the Discord or YouTube comments if you have any questions or if you need any help. Discord is probably the easier option if you do need help. Um, make sure to grab some merch if, if you can. Um, the cool logo on the back and whatnot. It helps me out heaps and it's just a way to show support as well, as well as just subscribing and liking the video. Anyway, thank you so much. This has been Lockie and Promtel and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.